Hey there, I'm Lord Farquaad, and welcome to Help Talk number one, a series where I talk about different topics uh, for just because three multiplayer to help you with, such as making a server, making different simple scripts, stuff like that. So for the first episode, we're going to learn how to set up our own just because three multiplayer server. So first you want to open up your web browser and navigate to just-cuz.mp, and as a note, all the links discussed will be in the description so that you can go quickly to them. Now, I'll navigate down to this red button that says download now. It'll take you down here and you want to say create a server. Now you want to check this box saying I have read and accept the EULA and privacy policy. Now you want to scroll down and get the server for Windows. Save it to wherever you want. It'll download and let's well yeah there we go let's show in folder all right so now that we have it here we need to unzip it you can use any zipping software you like uh, if you don't have one you can just google 7-zip and you can find it you should be able to right click it and say extract files with whatever extracting software you like once that's done, you can delete the zipped version, and now let's go into the server and see what it has. Okay. So first, uh, we want to see the server.exe. That's the main thing that runs the server. Uh, and then inside packages, these are all are all of the different uh, packages that the server is going to use to create whatever is on the server for people. So if you want to run a free roam server you'll have the free roam package as seen right here and you can see all the different stuff inside uh, and then you see chat without the chat package you won't be able to chat with other people you'll just be able to run around and then spawn menu that's the menu for the vehicles and the weapons so you can spawn those in give them to yourselves etc debug.log you can delete that uh, so the first thing you want to do is just open up the server and generate a default configuration and if this pops up then you do want to say uh, yes allow private networks allow access and then after all of this happens then just exit it and now you'll see that we have a couple more folders we have dumps and logs logs are all the different outputs of the server and dumps is if the server crashes it'll put a dump right here so you can send that to the developers so that they can uh, fix it for the next version now let's open up config.json and you can use any text editor such as notepad++, notepad, uh, I just use Visual Studio Code so I'm going to right click open with code and as you'll see uh, so first the host area that's what IP address or domain you want to bind it to uh, you, you can usually leave this as default unless you're doing something crazy but we're not because if it's just default, it'll use whatever IP your computer is. Now, max players, that's the maximum amount of players that can join your server. So we'll just keep that at 32. Uh, and then max tick rate, that's how, how uh, often the server updates everyone in the game with everyone's positions and different sync stuff. So we can keep that at 60, but some servers do 120. Sometimes that gives a, a little more smooth feel to the game. Uh, password, you can set this to anything you want to, so that when people try to join your server, they'll have to put in a password before they can join, such as uh, food, and then your password will be food. But if you just leave it like this, then you'll be fine. Now, port, uh, you should probably leave this default 4200. Um, and then required DLC, if you're going to be using DLC on the server, you should probably put in uh, different DLCs that you're going to be using. Uh, more on that in a moment. And then Steam port, you won't need to do anything for that. So once we have all that set up in our default configuration, we can minimize that. And we can run the server again. We'll see that if we scroll to the top, now we can see that it loaded all of our packages. And then one of our packages uh, loaded in different commands uh, so that we can use those in the chat. And once we have that done, we can open up just because 3 multiplayer. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Now while Just Cause 3 opens, uh, we're going to go look at the DLC options for the configuration. So if we go to Docs, and then we go to Server Configuration. Now the server configuration basically just tells you uh, what I told you. And see for required DLC, it's an array of DLCs, so you can check, here's the name, and then you'll use this app uh, ID number in the array. So whatever DLC you're running, you can put those in there, and people won't be able to join unless they own that DLC. So now that Just Cause 3 is loaded, what we can do is we can first go to Settings, and make sure you have your name in there, and then quick local connect port. We want to change this to whatever our port was in the config. So for us, it was 4200, right? And then hit save. And now when you hit quick local connect, it will load up the server and crash your game because I wasn't full screen. All right, so now that we're back in the game and we have our port all set up, we're gonna hit quick local connect. And this time it is full screen so that we don't crash. And it'll load up our files. It might freeze a little bit. And then you'll see we have the default uh, free roam game mode as well as the chat running. So you can chat right there. And there we go. So you can see all the different messages. And now you have connected to your own server. Now you might be wondering how do I get my server in the server browser? How do I get my server, I have to have a description, a name, and a nice little icon so that people can join my server. Well, first for that, we want to exit the game, and then we want to go back to the documents where we left off on the DLC. We just hit documents again, and then we want to say adding your server to server browser. Okay. So first we need to create a new authorization key for our server. And that's there. So what you want to do is go here and then hit create a, a new auth key. And what that's going to do is that's going to generate a key for you. So first you want to type in your name like my cool server and then server IP. Uh, this will be your IP address. So what you want to do to find that is go to Google and just type in my IP and it will show up so you can copy and paste that in there and the server port will be 4200 which is our default that we put in our configuration and once you have that then it will give you an authorization key and we'll use that in just a moment so once you've done that keep that tab open and go back to adding your server to server browser Alright, so now that we've created our auth key, we need to download the master list package. But before you do that, you need to make sure that the server isn't running. So exit the server, then download the package. And once it's downloaded, we can hit show in folder. You can right click extract files, hit OK, and there'll be a lot of files to extract. And some errors might pop up, but that's fine. So you can delete the old compressed package. Now you can see we have our new masterless package here. So first you want to find example config.json, rename it to config.json, and then we're going to open that up. And as you can see, we have some settings that we can adjust here. So display name, that's the name of your server that's going to pop up in the server browser. So you can call that anything you want. My awesome server is fine. Announce server, this is whether you want it to be on the master list or not, and we do, so let's keep it true. Description is the description that appears under the name. So can we join me please, or this server is really cool. So maybe people will want to join if you tell them what features you have in here. Authorization key, this is where you paste your authorization key that we generated before. So you can go back into Chrome and then copy your authorization key, paste it here, make sure there's no spaces on either end, it's just between the two quotation marks. And then image, this is the link to your image that you want to display in the server browser. Now images, they must be 
200 kilobytes maximum file size and 610 by 250. If it's if these are not met, if it's above 200 kilobytes or it's not this dimension, then it will not work. So you need to make sure your image fits these requirements. So once you have that done, you can upload it to any uh, hosting site such as Imgur and you can paste the direct link to the image, which means that it'll have a .png at the end. And uh, one of the things is that it must be a PNG image, I believe. I could be wrong, but you should probably make it PNG just in case. All right, so once you've done all of that, then we're gonna navigate back to our server and double click server.exe. You'll see that starts loading up and you'll see at the bottom, info in green, server has been announced to the master list. So that means we successfully did everything that we were supposed to and it is now on the master list. So now uh, other people can see it and other people can join it. Now one thing that I mentioned here before we are done is that people will not be able to join your server if it has not been port forwarded. Now I'm not going to cover port forwarding in this tutorial. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube so you can go find one of those to forward the port 4200. Even if it's a Minecraft tutorial you can still use it to forward any port. So make sure your port is forwarded if you want other people to be able to connect to it. Now you can actually have uh, other people connect without using the master list package. All they will need to do is type in the IP address and then the name and then the colon and then the port in the uh, entry in the top left and then they can connect to your server if it is port forwarded. 